let's see, uh, Islam, Islam. It turns out Islam in Minnesota is quite an issue, right? So a few weeks ago, I told you about the story about Hamlin College, where art histor history professor showed a, uh, a painting of um, a, a painting of Muhammad uh, from what is it, the 12th century or something, and uh, Iranian Persian, and um, uh, Muslim students complained, and the professor was fired, even though the professor had given a warning. I told people, uh, students he was going to do this, even though this is an art history class. You're supposed to show the art in an art history class. Anyway, there's a huge outcry. I mean, quite amazing the extent of the outcry. Uh, uh, University of Minnesota came out against, uh, against the university for firing him. And then it turned out even the faculty of Hamlin College actually voted to ask the president to resign because he had fired, um, he had fired uh, this professor. So, uh, you know, you can offend everybody pretty much. Well, not anymore. I guess you can't offend the snowflakes. But you can offend many religions, except Islam. You cannot offend Islam. You cannot show the pictures of Muhammad in, um, at, at Hamlin College. Well, uh, there was a somewhat, there was another controversy related to Islam also in Minnesota at a, at a university called McAllister, McAllister College or McAllister University, I'm not sure, where there was an exhibit, an exhibit uh, by an Iranian, uh, an Iranian immigrant to the United States, an Iranian artist um, who describes herself uh, as a feminist, and um, uh, and uh, she uh, basically had an exhibit if you will, uh, in support of the women in Iran who are protesting, in support of the Iranian protests, which is, uh, which is uh, super important. Uh, so for example, one of the neon signs, this is kind of modern arts, it's collages and neon signs and some sculptures, but probably not very realistic, although it's, it's hard to, s they don't really show a lot of pictures in this um, article because I guess they don't want to offend. Um, but, but anyway, uh, so it's paintings, photographs, collages, and there's a neon sign saying women, life, freedom, which is, of course, the slogan of the Iranian uh, protest. Uh, the exhibit also has women in uh, hijabs, and, but with parts of their bodies uh, 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 exposed, or negligee exposed, or breast exposed. So a, a commentary about a female body, a hijab, you know. So obviously, um, you know, obviously, a critique of what is going on in Iran and support for the protesters. So some sculptures and drawings in the exhibit depicted exposed bodies of Muslim women wearing hijabs on niqabs. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, and um, some Muslim students at the university were offended. So uh, over the weekend, the university shut down the exhibit. It, it put all the paintings and all the sculptures behind, um, behind uh, kind of a, a black... Uh, uh, materials, so you couldn't see it. Um, they held meetings with students to, I guess, to, 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 for them to have an opportunity to express their feelings. Um, following, uh, following the weekend, the university decided, to its credit, to keep the exhibit open. They took away all the, all the covers and they opened up the exhibit. They did put glass on the door where you could look into the exhibit um, they put in, uh, what do you got, frosted glass, so you couldn't see what was inside, uh, so as not to expose uh, the people just walking by to the artworks. Uh, they also put up a, a, a warning on the door saying, ooh, you might be offended, beware, uh, don't go in if you're going to be offended. But they also put up on the door um, a, uh, a poster from the group uh, objecting to this, asking for people to sign a petition uh, to have the artworks removed, or at least some of the artworks removed, and they included that on the door, which is a little bizarre, right? Even though they've agreed to have uh, this, um, uh, so uh, you know, uh, Muslims in the United States, but really Muslims all over the world, continue uh, to be offended, continue uh, to resist any kind of critique of Islam any kind of questioning of the faith, any critique of their, some of which are pretty barbaric um, uh, uh, traditions, uh, they are offended by and they want it silenced. 
they do not want their religion critiqued or, or questioned, and they do not want depictions of the Prophet Muhammad uh, anyway. And uh, Muslim students, particularly in Minnesota, it looks like, are, uh, are actively objecting to any attempt to depict their religion in ways that do not conform uh, to, to their emotions, I guess. And of course, this is a worldwide movement. Uh, this goes back to Salomon Rushdie, who we'll get to in a minute. Uh, this has to do with the Danish cartoons and, and uh, Charlie Hebdo. And uh, this is a continuing battle uh, and, uh, with the uh, uh, anti-liberal, anti-free speech, anti-open uh, to criticism attitude of the Muslim world. Uh, and and to the, 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 uh, the, the Islamists who uh, are vocal within it. But these are probably not even Islamists. These are people who just don't want to be offended. And, and, but people are offended by art all the time. Close your eyes, walk away. Um, so, uh, and of course, people have a right to, uh, you know, uh, boycott uh, an exhibit. People have a right uh, to demand that a private institution shut down an exhibit. That's not a violation of free speech. People have a right to demand that a professor be fired. The question is, are there objective standards for all of this? And what are they? And their offense and the fact that their religion is being criticized are not objective standards that a university and academic institution should abide by. So good for uh, this university for keeping the exhibit open. Uh, good for the faculty of Hamlin College for calling for the president of Hamlin College to resign. I am glad to see some American institutions try, starting to push back against this kind of behavior by Muslims. Uh, I remember when we were showing the, you know, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, some of you might know this, but in, it, when the uh, Danish cartoons came out and the demonstrations all over the world and American uh, newspapers uh, would not publish the cartoons. The Ayn Rand Institute uh, sponsored events all over the country uh, at university campuses where we did panels on free speech, where we showed big posters of the cartoons. We showed big posters of the cartoons and, and we had a panel on free speech. At NYU, at New York University, they wouldn't let us show the cartoons. Um, it, so what we did was we put up the cartoons on stage these big posters, and we covered them with sheets, which actually, um, which actually turned out to be more effective because you're not allowed to look. You're not mature enough. You, you might be offended. The powers to be won't let you see, won't let you think, won't let you hear, won't, won't let you look at this because it's inappropriate. So um, I, 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 this whole free speech debate around Islam is... Uh, is is super important. It's important to emphasize the importance of free speech. And I'm glad to see some institutions standing up uh, to uh, the hysteria about this. I wish they applied the same principle uh, to other attempts to restrict free speech, to other attempts to restrict free speech. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.